Hey guys, I've got big news to share with you today. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Yolanda Neff in 2022. Just a quick background about Yolanda Neff. She was born on the 5th of January, 1993, which means she's currently 29 years old. So she's not that young anymore, but still pretty much in her prime time. Her height is 1,68 meters, which is five foot six. And she is weighing in at 53 kilograms, which is 117 pounds, which is, that's, that's very light guys. But as you should know, these women are lean racing machines. They have absolutely no fat on them. And as you guys should know, she's racing for track factory racing team. So she's on a track super caliber. Guys, I absolutely love the track super caliber. Let me know what you guys think of the bike in the comment section. It's a bit of a controversial one because is it a hardtail? Is it a full suspension? It's kind of in between. So you pretty much get the nice lightweight of a hardtail, but it's not quite a hardtail. And you get some rear suspension, but it's not quite as much as a full suspension. So it's really in between a hardtail and a full suspension. I kind of like the idea, guys. I would love to ride one myself. I actually have a track, but I'm currently on an e-bike. So I've got 140 mil suspension back in front, but yeah, you can't compare the e-bike to the Super Caliber. As you guys have probably noticed, she's got a bit of a new look in 2022, rocking the brown hair. Usually we are used to seeing her with a blonde hair. So as soon as we see that blonde hair, we know it's Yolanda Neff. But yeah, now we've got to get used to the brown hair for a change. And then as we all know, Yolanda Neff has pretty amazing skills, guys. Like her skills are definitely more advanced than the average cross-country mountain bike woman. In my opinion, she probably has the best skills out of the entire cross-country field. The field of women, of course. So if we take a look at her riding style, she pedals with quite a high cadence on the climbs. So she uses a pretty easy gear and she just spins it out basically. So she has a pretty unique style like that on the climbs. So as we can see from the footage, she's riding a dropper post pretty much all of the time. Um, I don't blame her because today's cross country tracks are getting pretty technical. So I think most riders, even the men are on dropper posts at the moment. Another thing is most riders, men and women, are switching to 120 mil travel front and rear for cross country racing, which is interesting. It just shows you how the tracks have evolved and become much, much more technical over the years. Taking a look at Yolanda's start, as we know, Yolanda Neff has a very fast start. She's always in the front on the first lap. So yeah, we take a look at Yolanda Neff taking a corner. She's not looking down at her front wheel. She's looking where she's going to be going, which is the right thing to do. Once again, as you guys can see, very high cadence up the climb. That's pretty much her riding style. Yeah, we see her going through a technical section. Absolutely no problem for her. Unbelievable skills, guys. She is unbelievable when it comes to skills. Look at that RockShox Sid working over there, using pretty much most of the travel. Yeah, we see just how smooth Yolanda is on the descent, guys. Very, very impressive. It must be quite frustrating for her in a cross-country race if she can't quite keep up with somebody on the climb and then they get in front of her on the descent and then she's stuck behind them because I'm pretty sure on the descents she makes up quite a lot of time. There we see that beautiful track super caliber. Guys, yeah, we see Yolanda's got something around her wrists. I'm not sure if it's for protection or maybe she has an injury or something, but it's around both wrists. So I find that a little bit strange. So if anyone knows exactly what's going on there, please let me know in the comment section below because I'm not quite sure. Just to take a look, guys, at that beautiful track Super Calibre with all the top components. Very, very nice bike. Once again, yeah, we see Yolanda on the climb. Very high cadence and she's quite low. So her elbows are bent quite a bit. If you look at the riders around her, they're kind of sitting more upright. So Yolanda's got quite a unique style to her riding. There we see Yolanda on the descent, one finger on the brake. And once again, guys, I'm not sure what that stuff is around her wrist and her hands. So if you guys do know, please, can you pop a comment down below? It's crazy to think that she only weighs 53 kgs, guys. And I'm sure that there are women in the cross country field that are even lighter than that. So it's, it's quite crazy to think how fit these women actually are. There we see the dropper post all the way down so that she can move freely around her bike and not being restricted to the saddle that's too high. Yeah, we see a video of Yolanda shredding some technical rocks and roots in full-on enduro clothes. I don't see her in enduro clothes very often. Um, it looks like the weather conditions aren't the best here in this clip. 
Um, it looks very muddy and wet and cold as well. So this video is in preparation for Snowshoe World Cup. So yeah, she's busy practicing all of her lines, getting everything dialed for the race that's coming up. And it looks to be going well. Everything looks pretty smooth. But once again, Yolanda's skills are just next level. There we see how her body's moving, guys. Suspension's working, looking ultra, ultra smooth. If you guys just watch her ride on the descent and just compare her body posture and the way she moves her elbows and knees and just her entire body, it just looks so much smoother <laughs> than a lot of the other women. Um, a lot of the other women are kind of stiff and they just, they just don't look as comfortable. So guys, I can go on all day about Yolanda's skills. It's just, it's crazy. Like, but if you look at the kind of training she does, she goes to skate parks. She does like half pipes, quarter pipes. So she does actual like skate park training, stuff that you need a BMX for and a skateboard. She does that stuff on a mountain bike and it looks to be working guys because her skills speak for themselves. There we can see she is using pretty much all of her travel on that RockShox SID. I'm not sure if that's 100 mil travel or 120. Let me know if you guys know in the comment section below. Let's take a look at this clip of Yolanda. I'm pretty sure this was in Tokyo when she won the Olympics. I think this was one of the more technical sections of the track, if not the most technical section. So yeah, we see she's following another rider. And yeah, once again, does it no problem at all. She had a very, very nice bike design over here with like multi colors. Looked very, very cool. And she still had the blonde hair over there. <laughs> And yeah, we see Yolanda Neff shredding on what looks like a trail bike or an enduro bike. I'm not quite sure. I think it might be an enduro bike. Also, obviously, a track. There we see she has the beautiful AXS electric gears by SRAM. Beautiful bike, guys. Absolutely stunning. There's even a little contraption underneath the bottle cage where you can put some stuff. Almost like a little toolbox where you can put some extra tools or a tube or whatever you might need. So let's take a quick look at Yolanda Neff's current bike. I love the golden drivetrain white and gold themed bike with her name on the frame obviously beautiful beautiful golden color i love the cassette guys these cassettes look absolutely yeah i do this what i do and i hope you let me in let me in yeah